Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. Please hit the subscribe button if you have not already so you don't miss any of the videos. I have a lot of amazing ones coming out. This is an autumn uh, set of journals. That's a custom order from Mandy. And this is in the B6 traveler's notebook size, so five by seven. And I know that she is putting these into traveler's notebook covers, so there's no um, closure. And I know she writes in them, so I tried to keep the bulk down and most of the bulk along like the edges and stuff like that. So what I've used for the cover is this beautiful textured wallpaper. I got a wallpaper book full of, I just wish you could feel it. It is so thick and luscious and sparkly and gold and just amazing. And so the inspiration for this was she asked about bohemian style journals and we're going to be doing one later on that have more of the bohemian ladies. But this is kind of my take on a slightly inspired by bohemian autumn journals. So um, they are very similar, but different as well. So this is a, a dimensional sticker that I've hot glued on. It says grateful and it has some leaves. And then she wanted um, like the bohemian fabrics, like the Indian fabrics. And I had to order another sari, but I did have some Indian um, fabric from like one of the rugs that they make. It's not actually sari fabric. And she said that would be fine for these. So I've made a fabric pocket here in the front and left all this frayed down here. So there's a journal card in the front where she can write whatever she wants on the back. It's just an index card backing. And then this is paper from Alphabet Store on Etsy. I did Etsy Archaeology series last week. I did an episode on this shop and I had some autumn paper. So these are like watercolor trees. And then just a little um, coffee dyed tag with a little tree stamp on that in the front here. I've used a paper pack left over from last year that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I have a coffee dyed um, place for her to journal and a little leaf sticker. I've done stenciling. This is a, a pine branch. I have lots of places to write because I know that's mainly what she does with it. I also put in some pages from my A Walk in the Autumn Woods paper pack, journal paper pack, and it's an exclusive kit. I'm not offering it for sale or for free, but if you want this pack, and I didn't even use all the pages, but you'll see, I'll point them out. If you want it, just make any purchase in my shop and ask for it, and I will send you the link so you can download it. It's exclusive. Um, you have to like specifically ask for it. And then this is my soft vintage nature. This is in my shop. And then I have this cute little book page. It says squirrels and it looks like an autumny. Added a little tab and then there's some, I think those are woodpeckers. Some tree stamps down there. There's coffee dyed paper. Here's a wallpaper corner tuck spot with a little bit of Indian fabric and then a sticker. And then look at this image of the mama deer and her babies and the pheasants. I got this image. I'm pretty sure I'm remembering where I got it. I think I got it from Pixabay. And if you go to pixabay.com, um, everything on there is free to use, even for commercial. So you don't have to worry about it. And this is so cute. So I would just type in like deer. Whoop, I am bumping my camera, sorry. Or woodland or something like that. And I found this so I wanted to tuck, I just printed it on cardstock. And then here is a definition or an encyclopedia entry for autumn. This is from a 1950s encyclopedia. And then it's just on some lace. So she can tuck something up behind that. A little bit of leaf ribbon, a little branch stencil. This is also from a walk in the autumn woods. Now these pages are cut down there. They print out on a um, eight and a half by 11. This is a coin. I think it's like a coin envelope. It's a bigger one. I got it from Feed the Birdies. You can go to Instagram, Feed the Birdies. She also has an Etsy shop. One of my favorite places to get ephemera and to get bulk ephemera. Sometimes she does like de-stash boxes or de-stash lots and you can always message her and ask her if she has any going on or let her know what you're looking for. And she has been amazing to work with. I can't wait to put another order in. I would have already put another order in except I'm trying to save a little bit of money and use up some of the supplies I have. Anyway, you didn't need to know all that, but there's a little leaf sticker and then I made a tag, a little gold tag to stick in there. And this lit, this part is not glued down so you could put in secret journaling things and close that up. This is from a book and it says November and it has like 
just some different nature things on the days there. There's a little tree stamp. This ticket I also got, I think it's like from a teacher school supply type thing. I also got this ticket from Feed the Birdies and then a little vintage owl print that I stitched on there. This is just a playing card from a Scrabble game. I got it like Goodwill. And then a little wallpaper topper on this. This is just Dollar Tree. I love those pads of the really thin, colorful Dollar Tree paper. They last forever. They're perfect for journaling on and they don't add bulk. And then she discussed sequins along with the bohemian theme. And even though I'm not do exactly doing the bohemian theme, I had these leaf sequins. So I just got these at Hobby Lobby last year. I think they were 50% off. I have enough leaf sequins to do journals for the next 50 years. So it was only, I think, a few, a few dollars. And I just added a few of those there. This is from the journal kit um, Simply Autumn by Calico Collage. It's the one she designed last year. And I would love to buy one uh, this year, but I just... I just don't know how many autumn journals I'm gonna to get to, so I'm using this one for now. Here's a Rolodex card and just a place to journal. A little tuck spot there, I added a little sequin and then a journal card that I stamped. This is Give Thanks. I love, now she mentioned the color Plum, and so I used the Seedless Preserves ink color from Tim Holtz, kinda of throughout to add that. And then I love this library card. I got this from Feed the Birdies too. It's exploring underground habitats. Whoop, sorry about that. Yeah, so burrowing animals, exploring underground habitats. I just, this is an actual piece of ephemera. So I thought that was really, really awesome. Um, it looks like it's from 2001 maybe. And then this is from the Simply Autumn Kit. I punched, I have like, uh, what are these called? Where it punches the slits and you can weave something through. So I weaved some sorry silk ribbon through. And then on the bottom, I tied, let me see if I can show you. I tied this little wooden bead. And then here at the top, there's a wooden owl button. And I tried to keep that up out of the way. So when she's writing, hopefully it won't get too bumpy. Here is a vintage Rolodex card tuck spot right there. And then I added these tassels hanging off this um, side here so they don't get in the way of her writing, but I just think they add so much. And then this is from the Simply Autumn Kit. No, no spring nor summer beauty hath such grace as I have seen in one autumnal face. And then this is a little leaf tuck spot. This is just one of those like fabric leaves. I got them, I think I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're pretty inexpensive. A little stamp. There's a journal card, book pages. This is a walk in the autumn woods as well. This mushroom is from Calico Collage Simply Autumn. Love that mushroom. And then here's a tag from Above Par Crafts. And she is listed in my description box below. She's one of the shops that sponsors my videos. And she does have a coupon code. So any of my subscribers, whenever they purchase from her, you can use the code ZENOR10 to get 10% off. She does ship from Canada, so the shipping might look a little crazy, but she said just message her and usually um, she can work something out because she will refund any overages. And then a little bridge score page, another book page, some tags, journal card, and this is a Tim Holtz journal card. And then this is also a walk in the autumn woods that I designed. Another leaf tuck spot there. I love these leaf stickers, they're so pretty. And then here in the back, there is a library card from Victoria Designs. And then a tag that I made with some cardstock and then this bird, I think it's a little chickadee and then the pine cone. So that's this one, there are 60 pages. And then the second one, is very, I just wanted to really um, showcase the beauty of this wallpaper. So I just took a gold bulb pin and then pinned on a leaf charm and a gold leaf, and that can come right off if she doesn't want it there, if she wants to pin it onto something else. So here we have just a little bit of the Indian fabric hanging out below, and then the, a wallpaper um, pocket in the front. There's a little acorn flat back, some sorry silk ribbon, and then a Tim Holtz journal card in front. This is from my A Walk in the Autumn Woods paper pack. Some owls. Little tuck spot with some little tags and goodies. 
And then I did like tree bark stenciling in this one. I still used the seedless preserves just because I really liked that color. Here's the Eastern Chipmunk and the Townsend's Chipmunk. So adorable. I love chipmunks. Paper ribbon. This is also from A Walk in the Autumn Woods. This is my Soft Nature paper pack. I love that stamp. It's one of my favorites. This is from a little kid's book. And then there's a leaf there, um, label there. This is just from like a vintage, I think it's like a calendar or something. It's from the 70s. She can tuck something behind there, behind the butterfly. And then I sprayed this ruffle and added a little leaf flap back. Some stenciling there. A little bird. I think this is for my fly free ephemera pack so you can get that digitally or buy it printed in my shop there's little pockets in the middle to tuck things in this is a project life card these are well the back one is from calico collage and then that just some vintage owls i found this is one of the pages from my walk in the autumn woods it's a half half of it little label, little mushroom stamp. This is from Simply Autumn by Calico Collage. Look at that typewriter stamp. I bought it at uh, Hobby Lobby, I think. I think. <laughs> I haven't used it yet, and I used the Seedless Preserves um, Distress ink on it, and it's beautiful. There is a pocket with some vintage, like, daytimer pages that she can journal on or take notes or write about her day. A little deer and tree stamp down there. There's a little owl. It says a, a favorite cultural custom. This is from my walk in the autumn woods. This is from Calco Collage Simply Autumn. Here's an extra clip that has some brown yarn on it that she can use anywhere. This is from my Simply Nature. I think it's called. Oh gosh. Um, and then here is. A library card from Above Par Crafts. She has the most amazing library cards. They're real. Um, I really love using them. And that is the back. So these are heading off to Mandy. And I would love to have more time to do like a journal for November, journals for November, but I'm still getting the rest of my journals caught up. So um, hopefully I'll be having a bunch of Christmas journals out in November. But if you really want one for November, you can contact me and I will let you know um, if I have any openings to do one and have it to you by the end of this month. So you can message me and depending upon what you're looking for, I might be able to get one or two of those done. So I hope you all have an incredible day. I'll see you in the next video.